Uh, I gotta do this all over again. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and um bring the intro back. I was really liking the first one. You got a chance to hear what was going on in the first intro, <laughs> because we have a little technical difficulties. Wi-Fi is messing up, ladies and gentlemen, but we are here and we are back. I think it was my Wi-Fi, but hey, let me give you a little quick intro again. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh. Okay, that's all you get. Don't bring your kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring your kids. We gotta bring my man Nick's back so we can um get everything going. Get everything going. We're gonna bring him back. We're gonna bring him back. We're gonna bring him back. He took a he took a screenshot of me, which I'm, I'm gonna look at once we done. Hey, first first and foremost, this ain't got nothing to do with my wife. I don't pay the Wi-Fi bill. Let's be realistic here. All right, I ain't got no shame saying it. <laughs> you, are you there? Oh man, yeah, I'm here, man. All right, bet, 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 bet. Like Ooh. I said, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with paying the Wi-Fi bill. That ain't my my department, okay, ladies and gentlemen. Ain't look, ain't nothing wrong with still staying with your mama until you get on your feet. I'm still in college, all right. All y'all can suck it if y'all got something to say. Y'all want to fight? Step outside, all right. Boom, bam, boom. I said it. Step outside. Mm. Anyway, so continue what you were saying, man. We was talking about, you know, the whole Jada and Will with the whole Cardi and Offset. And, you know, we just trying to understand, we just trying to let y'all know, ladies and gentlemen, stop blaming the brothers all the time. Like, come on now. It ain't my fault y'all want to go out there and get them chicken grease head ass motherfuckers. Dread head. I, I'm, I'm, I, I, no, no, no disrespect to people that, no but disrespect to the brothers that got, you know, that's good brothers with dreads. All right, we, we ain't no disrespect to y'all, but, you know. To the ones that be messing up for the rest of us, you know what I'm saying, making us look bad, and we got to sit here and always justify shit. All right, that shit's annoying. But continue what you were saying, my brother. All right, so what I was saying earlier is, um, let's we'll start with Will and Jada. We're gonna yeah, start right. out with them. Like we said, swingers. For you guys don't understand that concept. When you're a swinger, it's and it's in a community of people that you don't really know. You know, it's private invite, stuff like that. It's all people here or there. It's never anybody going to be close to home for a possible further connection than other than what it's supposed to be. Now, that's where Jada crossed her line at. Even though that they claim or could say they were split up, if you're married and just because you're split up, that doesn't right. mean you're technically apart. Right. It's technically like taking a break, basically. So that's where she crossed the line. She she was on a separation period, but they were still trying to work out their marriage, mm-hmm. which means they aren't divorced. That means that there are still restrictions and stipulations that should be followed. Right. And if she wanted to swing, that's a part of the agreement. That's obviously a part of the agreement, but that wasn't a swinging situation. That turned into a relationship with another man that was somebody that they knew. That's where she was wrong. If it would have just been a random dude, Will wouldn't have gave two damn shits about it. We wouldn't have gave, honestly, most men wouldn't have gave two damn shits about it because they had an agreement and understanding. Right. It's the fact that it was somebody close to home, family, basically he was family, and she turned it into more than just a one-nighter. It was obviously several occasions to where this man felt that he was in a legit relationship with this woman. Mm-hmm. So that entanglement BS that you ladies are throwing out there, that's not the case. She was in a legit relationship probably to the point that she wanted to be with that man and that's what the issue is at the end of the day because she's still married the, the, the qu- married. hey brother man the question is do you do you not do you hold jada accountable for what she did and can you compare this to basically how offset did too with the whole cheating that's the that's the question and so that, like before before you answer this hold on before you answer like like he said technically y'all still married Y'all split up, but by legal cases, y'all not divorced. Y'all just split up. You know what I'm saying? He even said there was a point where I could love you through anything. If you listen to the entire interview, Will said that he'd love you through anything. But when she was describing what was going on with August, and and, he, and the funny thing about it, you read in the comments too, the comment was just because Will was crying. I was like, 
So you mean to tell me a man listened to his woman talk about sleeping with another dude that was close to the family, been around the family, all that type of stuff. Like I'm supposed to just sit there and be comfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, go ahead and tell what you was going to say, bro. All right, so as far as your question at hand, it it's generalized basically the same thing in a way. Right. Because Offset understood who he was marrying when he married Cardi B. Cardi B even said that she was trifling back in the day. You know, she kept it real. People like, I used to drug, rob motherfuckers back in the day, right? Mm-hmm. So he knew that she does trifling things. Right. Now, just because you get money doesn't mean the trifling ways oh, no. are gone. Oh, that no, doesn't no, mean no. anything. No, no. But you have to understand that Offset is hood. Offset's ghetto. His thought process is, I came from the street. I got money. Right. I can get what I want. Females are throwing themselves at me. You know what it is, what it is. She probably low-key still doing her thing. And that's his thought process. But it would be okay if Cardi B would have went out there and she was doing her because of that whole cell phone situation when right. he was caught on live or whatever. They would have been like, well, he was possibly cheating. So it's okay that she went out there and did that. Hell no, it wouldn't be okay. But my thing is, at the end of the day, stop being upset at her for choosing a man that she knew was low-key trifling to begin with. Right. You got two hood people trying to be with each other. Their thought process is the same. It's, well, I'm going to get you before you get to me kind of mentality when you have two people like them in a relationship. Yeah, Cardi B may have thought of, well, I can make something happen with this. We don't have a daughter. We can get through anything. Because most women eventually want that. Right. But you got a dude who's still young. He got money. He's from the hood and still living hood ways. That man's going to cheat on you. you. You know, But you ladies can't be mad that he cheated, but be comfortable with Jada cheating. It's the same thing. Cheating is cheating. It doesn't matter the aspect of what it is. Cheating is cheating. There is no right or wrong way in an acceptable way of cheating. There's no exception. Exactly. Like, you know, the thing about it, you know, people try to say, like, well, Will did Jada accept that. I get that. But understand is, we didn't accept that one, okay? No. The, the, <laughs> like, what's what's be realistic here? We didn't accept that. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a family friend that was something that we not going to accept. That's like me and you. That's like me and you. You know what I'm saying? You bring me around the kids. You bring me around your wife and everything like that. Y'all split up. Next, you know it. You know me and your me and your wife talking, or you do vice versa. Yep. Me, you and my girl talking. You know what I'm saying? Like. The thing about it is, regardless, is 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 a fucked up man. It's something that's a line that you don't cross. Like, let's be realistic. That's a line you just don't cross. And then you know, people like it ain't funny. You know what I'm saying with the whole WAP song and this and that. Listen, listen, listen. It's only that's the reason why the reason why we we find it funny because she was bragging about the whole you know what what was what's keeping on hundred wet ass pussy. You know what I'm saying. But here's the thing about it though. We not we you call yourself trying to empower women on that stuff, but the way that you are making it go about it, you make it make it seem like all dudes need to do it has so, uh, all all dudes need is a chick with some pussy, some good ass pussy, and that's it. No other qualities, no other you know what I'm saying good features and everything like that. Just that. We'll see here. We got a, we got somebody. Yeah, you you right, Henderson. You right. Let's see. He what, is from yeah. the suburbs, but. He tries to use hood tendencies, so see, but you're right. Offset's from the suburbs. I'm listening. He's from North Atlanta. I just don't want to use the hood thing. He, okay, that's true. Well, yeah, you're right. Okay, I apologize. He yeah. see he cl- he claiming that he's from the hood, but he I guess he not. Yes. <laughs> a lot, well, this a lot. is what I need my ladies to understand from what she was saying. The reason why men find it so funny <laughs> with the walk time. <laughs> Exactly. You better learn to cook and clean because guess what? Even if she was cooking and cleaning, my thing is that she was trying to, like you say, empower women. Mm -hmm. But you can't empower women if your shit ain't right. You can't tell black women, well, shit, you ain't got to cook, you ain't got to clean, you still going to get a ring. Right. But your shit ain't together. You can't tell them that. You can't falsify what you out here doing in music to get these women hyped up and be like, oh, yeah, that's my jam. That's my ish. That's, yeah, she she's talking, she's spitting. No, she not. This she nigga re- cheating. So, yo, if her man is cheating, she ain't spitting nothing. That, she's not being real with y'all. And that, you know, she's that's not a, being real. That's the funny thing about it, man. Because even I was having a conversation with my girl. It was like, 
What what's like when you when you looking at the sins, you have to ask yourself what you keep what okay. keeps a man. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest thing that everybody asks. What keeps a man? Understand this, ladies and gentlemen. A man is going to want to stay if he loves where he's at. Even if, like you know, you got the Absolutely. one. Even you got the excuse me. You got the one lady to say, "Oh, I do this and that for him, that and that." You know, and he's still cheap. First of all, he for the streets. Like Future said, she for the streets. He for the streets. You know what I'm saying? Only a dude that knows that he wants to settle down. And make a way for him and his lady, is he gonna stay? Like, let's be realistic here. Yeah. You know, and and she was touching on some points. A lot of them go for a lot of cats that aren't looking to settle down right away, or they ain't looking to build from a future. You ain't looking for the Morris Chestnuts. Um, I forgot a couple of the cats she was talking yeah, about, but well, she she was just naming a bunch of great dudes, and I was like, that's true. And then, you know, like you said earlier, y'all selection on the men that y'all choose is just like the selection of women we choose. Like, there's a lot a lot of dudes complain about their baby mamas, but guess what? Half their baby mamas be it from the streets. So they, yeah. they choose it, and their selection is bad as well, too. So, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, this episode between my man, me, and Nick's, you know what I'm saying, is, is going both ways. We letting know how on both sides it is. It's settling down a part of maturity, about part of maturing. Yes, it is. I'm be really, I'm be realistic. It is, it, it's a, it's a different part of maturing because maturing goes into different aspects of of life. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be, you can still be a bachelor and be very mature for your age and not want to settle down. You know what I'm saying? You can be like, well, I just don't feel I want to get married. I'm not sleeping around with a bunch of women, but I just don't feel you know I need to do all that. That's something different. Yep. So are, are we saying they haven't matured? Absolutely. No, let's be let's, let's let's be real. Anybody that based upon your question, neither one of them honestly have matured. They, think about it. They both met each other well, she was really starting to peak of her career. And she's she's the hottest woman at the time when she came out mm-hmm. and he came mm-hmm. and he was one of the hey, hottest Migos was hot. artists in the game. Migos was hot. They linked up. And it's like, well, damn, this is a power move, right? They're like, well, this, it's a it's a financial game when they got together low-key. It really was a financial game for them. But at the same time, were they really ready to settle down? If I'm not – correct me if I'm wrong, six months after they dated, I think he proposed, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. They – neither one of them was ready for that. And that's just to be real. And honestly, I don't think realistically – they were expecting a baby out of it, but when mm-hmm. that came, it kind of changed the oh, thought yeah. process a little bit. Oh, yeah. And when kids get involved and people get pregnant, it changes a lot. But Cardi B blew up even more when she got pregnant because it's like, oh, man, this queen from the streets came up. You know, she married another hood dude. It became an empowerment couple from people that are from the streets. It's like, oh, you, you see how they did it. They came from, well, not obviously all that came from the gutter, but Cardi came from the gutter. She met with a dude that's somewhat hood. And they made it right. Mm. So this is major for African American culture because it's like it shows that you can make the dreams come true, and then you can get with somebody of the same culture, and it'd be a powerful thing. And that's beautiful at the end of the day. But neither one of them are truly ready to be in a marriage type relationship. Maybe casual dating would have been more of their thing. That would have been way better for them to do. Because look, Allset was still out there fucking around when they first met. Let's just be real. It didn't, it didn't happen overnight. It didn't happen because during the pregnancy. No, he'd been doing what he was doing. And that's just being real. So look, and, look, and, and I like that he said Kylie. Same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, Kylie no. and Travis Scott, they're like under 30 years old. And they got hella money. They're in their prime youth of their life. They end up having a kid together and they didn't right. work out. Not everybody's mature enough and ready for that settle down love like that. I'm going to be real with you in your early mid 20s you're not truly ready to be really married to be real with you because you don't know what's out there you haven't experienced everything especially if you get money because that puts you in a whole nother class a whole nother ballpark and you got to experience that stuff before you waste your time and with anybody it's like i told my wife when i met her have you been through your whole phase like let's go to uh, let's go to some of the comments real quick before we get back into the topic yeah go ahead Women want to defend Cardi because she lives the lifestyle they want. She's the man. She's the manifestation of the of what women at times want to be. No matter how wrong, scandal, scandalous, or trifling she can be, 
posted. That's true. Let's see here. Another comment. We got hoes is hoes, niggas is niggas, Cardi and Offset, both some hoes. On God. I mean, hashtag on G. There we go. Another comment is we got what other female role models are out there in the mainstream pop culture? Not too many. Not that not that cater to the black community. So Cardi and these women and these women's queen. Ah, true. That's a good one. I like that one. I like that one. Right after Kylie too. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. We went through this when Becky with the good hair came out. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> it's a mil- okay, hey, I like that one. He's stupid. <laughs> yeah, Henderson was on one with that. I hey, saw that. that. That's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> that's, that's my boy right there. Henderson keep it a hundred though. I like I like that one. Ladies, keep it a hundred. Ladies and gentlemen, but he's right in the way. That's true. True. He's right in the way. Ladies and gentlemen, that's tuning in right version. now. Understand this. This is a co- the show called Crown of Fox. We are on Apple Podcasts and we are also on Spotify at the same time. Remember, I'm sponsored by Banana Man Clothing. The link is in the bio. Show your love and whatnot. Also, stay tuned for tomorrow's interview we with my man Kid right Cam, time. and we're gonna get it popping with his music, and we're gonna show what he got coming out pretty soon. Today's episode, if you just now tuning in, is with my man Nick's right here. Right, he's, mama, he's another co-host of my show. And we be talking about different things in society. So let's get back into the topic. So yeah, yep. honestly, bro, there's really not a lot of lot of women, you know, empowerment role models. If you can, if you consider Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion role models, then we gotta talk. Like, what are they, what are they really doing in today's society that's bringing, you know? Role models, like let's be realistic. You you say that WAP is supposed to be uh, a women's empowerment. I get it. Women can show their talents in many other different ways besides sexuality. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you got the talent for sexuality, I guess you know. Go ahead. We call them strippers, and then we call them porn stars. But um, I mean that's just <laughs> that's just on them. I guess God had to make somebody you know be failures. Some somebody had to be failures. Somebody had to be that breakfast morning buffet <laughs> for some people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Somebody with the chicken and waffles <laughs> and draws. <laughs> chicken and waffle and draws. I'm dead. Man, all right, you silly man. So you know, what, let's let's get into the next topic at hand. We we we, we done with that whole stuff. Let's yeah. let's be realistic. And I want I want your point of view. What really keeps a man? And for the viewers out there, lay down some comments of what you really think keeps a man in a relationship. Look, for me, for me, well, my perspective. Mm-hmm. So I'm be clear right there. Go ahead, go ahead. To keep a man, you don't got to be the most beautiful woman out there. That's number one. Right. You really don't because looks attract more problems. And that's just being honest. Correct. Because you can be as beautiful as you can be on the inside as you are on the outside. So that's my thing. If a woman has a good heart, she has a mother nature feel to her Mm -hmm. that brings a family environment and she has self respect. She's not out there. A lot of, a lot of dudes ain't on her and she's not showing a lot of dudes attention. That's important and that's key. That's correct. Because if any man can grab your woman's attention, I'm telling you right now, she's for the street. Yo, he can and that's just being honest. <laughs> he can keep so it, man. I got to applaud, I gotta a applaud woman, my man on that one. Yo, he, he get the applaud on that one. He got to get the applaud yep. on that one. And I don't, most men, if they're real men, mm-hmm. we're not looking for you to be able to cook and clean. That's that's not what keeps a woman. That's not what I'm sorry. That's not what keeps a man. Right. You cooking and cleaning is not going to keep us home. Oh, you sorry. allowing us to be ourselves. You supporting us. You having our back on things. You, you being able to understand that I might be down, and when I'm down, don't kick me while I'm down. You make sure you support and bring me back up, and I will do the same for you. Be on my same page. Don't try to be above me. Don't try to be beneath me. Try to be with me. Because there are some women that will take a lead and then they'll leave that man behind because they're like, you're lagging. And instead of helping lead that man, if you are leading, you under help them understand how to lead with you and be better communicative. A lot of women are bad at communication of what they really want because they expect us to know. Let's be real. We're not always going to know what you want. That's true. If you're not communicating what you have and what you need out there for us and what you expect. And if you don't lay down expectations, 
that will also keep us from wanting to be with you because you're making it too much of a guessing then. We don't want to have to guess with you. We already selected you, so it should be simple. You should be comfortable enough to tell us these things for us to be okay to open up to you and be emotional to you. We look for a woman that's not going to be like, well, you're acting like a pussy because we're telling you our feelings. You know, we might be having that battle of a day. There's nobody else that we can talk to. We need to be able to talk to you at the end of the day. That's true. Because we may not want to tell our homies what's going on, but we need to tell you. We may not want to tell our family what's going on, but we need, need to tell you. My yeah. thing is, is if you can't let us have that emotional connection with you and expression mm -hmm. with you, you're definitely not going to keep us. But if you can provide that nature, we will stick around. A man will give up kicking it with his homies because you're that special of a woman. And once he does that, he's ready to be with you. Because I put you like this. If he's always about trying to kick it with his friends over you, then he's not ready to be with you at the end of the day. And that's just, that's just going to be true. That's just, gonna, that's just being real. I'm just being real because a man will put his family, his friends, his homies to the side. Once he finds that woman that's for him and she will become number one in his life. If you're, if you do not receive that from your man, ladies, he's not ready and he's not selecting you just yet. That doesn't mean you're not that woman. That just means he's not looking at you that way just yet. But also be patient with some of these men. Some women expect us to have it all together. Understand that some men are a work in progress, just like y'all expect us to accept you as a work in progress. If you can accept all those things that I just said and do that with your man, I guarantee you, you'll keep them. Guarantee it. You know, we we um we we tend to we tend to think of this and look at it like it turns into you know a whole mental aspect as well too. You know, a mental aspect kind of turns into the whole process of how we we pick our women. You know what I'm saying? When we the way we pick our women and the way we choose the women that we want to keep into our lives and make sure that we not not fucking up is a mental aspect. And not to mention it has to play into does it fall into the environment that we are at? Is it the right time that we are at? Are we in the right mental space? And is the person there? You know, I, I've dealt with a lot of long distance relationships. I have. And, you know, I never had a close-up relationship till I had this one here with my girl. And it, t it turned out, you know, different. You know what I'm saying? Just like my man, just like your man Henderson said, shout out to him. Physical, mentally, emotionally is what is what helps keep a man and keeps his attention. You know, if you can keep your man mentally, then he's not looking nowhere else. That's the thing about it. A man is that is not mature in the mind and that's not men mentally focused on you and also emotionally attached onto you. He's not worried about you. He's he's for the streets. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And let's be realistic. Everybody, like Nick said, everybody went through goes through whole phases. Even I went through whole phases. The man next door went through whole phases. Your person next door went through whole phases. Your mama went through whole phases. Nah, I'm playing. <laughs> but let's just be nah, real. mama did. Let's just let's just be realistic though. Everybody had everybody goes through them them phases because you have to grind out what you're going through mentality because you have to deal with them them problems. You know what I'm saying? People cultivate with them problems like that. Yep, I said it. He laughing because that, that was funny. <laughs> Your mama was a hoe, but now I'm playing. But we just being realistic here. You know what I'm saying? In order for a man to keep a woman by his side, he physically just have to be like, yo, that's who I want. Now, a lot of ladies, they try to go out the dudes that's not mentally ready, that's not mature in the mindset, and that don't want to be tied down. They just want, you know, they want to they wanna fuck, they want to eat, they want to go home, or they want to kick you out the room. If a man kicks you out, guess what, ladies? He ain't wants you to stay. If he don't want you to spend the night, guess what? You for the streets when he comes to his mind. We just put it like that. We're not putting men or we're not throwing money at the bus. we just giving y'all the game, ladies, so y'all can understand. Stop choosing these dudes that don't want nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying? Go after Mr. Lamo that you clearly keep saying is lame as I don't know what. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because guess what? He might be Prince Charming in your mindset one day. You never know. Facts. Or be like me. Get you a funny dude, ladies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Low key ladies, funny dudes are the worst. Hey, they making you laugh, they making other women laugh. Hey, man, look. <laughs> for, for, first and foremost, look. <laughs> the, the last thing I need to have is my girl tell me, look. You funny, 
but you ain't that funny. All right, quit going on stage telling all these jokes. I'm, it's my job, baby. Nah, it ain't your joke. <laughs> Get your ass back in this house. You right. I got you. But anyway, the topic at hand, man, we just trying to understand. It's just why do we have to continue to keep getting bashed as men on a daily basis? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's up with that? Well, we get bashed because, like you said before, it's the decisions of the men that they pick. Mm -hmm. And it's also the decisions that we make after we get hurt by a woman as well. Correct. So it goes full circle with the man for the most part. And the reason why I state that is because when good dudes get hurt, Mm -hmm. they do turn into hoes. I'm gonna be real with you. Ah, it it ah, when when you hurt it when you hurt a good one after so long, so many times, there's there's no there's no heart there left for him because he's given it too many times. And it's rare that most men are honestly re- really willing to give you their heart. So that's why there's not many good men left. But women understand something. Women always dog the men out before the men dog the women out. It's a proven fact. Because women have a lot more options out here than a man does. At the end of the day, who's searching for what? The man is always searching for the woman. The woman is never searching for a man. That's just facts. So let's just be real. We all just just like WAP is empowerment, so we can go back to the way as pussy. The pussy runs the world. Let's be real. Well, I mean, it they does. went to the, the wars over pussy, and in, in our country's history, they went to the wars over pussy. Let's be real. Men have fought over women for years, so it starts with y'all. So y'all know y'all have the power, but that doesn't mean abuse the power that you have. Because if you want respect at the end of the day, you know, stop competing with your other female friend that you have next to you or other females out there. Because some females will see a sum that they want and it's taken. And then because they know that it's power and they know how men's thought process are, they'll take advantage of that and throw it. So men get dogged out because, one, all these women are coming at us. That's not our fault. We're trying, but if you start having these insecurities when we decide to pick you or you cheat before something happens, that's when the problems come as well. Stop dogging the men out that have tried or you've had so many men in your life that have done you wrong and you assume the next one is like the next one because that's not the case. It's just like we have to think about you women. You women say it all the time. Well, we all ain't hoes. All of us ain't hoes. Well, all of us men, we ain't assholes. That is so true. It, 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 the shoe fits the <laughs> other way as well. It goes full circle. Y'all ain't hoes, we ain't hoes. There's some good ones, there's some bad ones. But change your perspective and open up your horizon and stop thinking all men are assholes. Your man Henderson said, I think one of the reasons we get bashed is also what women be seeing on the internet. All the time they spend on their phone looking at memes and other people's business they take it personal like it's them. They start yep. creating their narratives based off of what could have happened, even if they are, even if they in a good relationship or not in one at all. Laugh out loud. Women got a different thought process. Shit, it ain't gonna happen for you to be wrong. See, yo, the thing about it is, and even it's even even towards men as well too. Yeah, like yep. people don't people people don't mind their business. That's the thing about it. You know what I'm saying? People don't mind their business at all. And that's the sad part about life. People don't mind their business. But people also compare, they try to compare their lives to other shit or other people in their lives too. Like if a woman sees that she's constantly getting hurt, constantly getting hurt, she compares her life to why can't I have that? Well, you know, if you choose the same type of dudes over and over again, then you just need to go ahead and just... You know what I'm saying? Leave that and pick a different pick a different type of dude. Oh, he's yep. oh, this one was always nice. He always said this and that. Cool. Understand this, ladies and gentlemen. Dudes are supposed to be nice to you at first. That's that's how the name of the game is. That's how we get the draws. As Tommy said on Martin, what is GTD? Get the draws. Understand this. If the man is not trying to break, sue you after he gets the draws and i'm talking about actually take you out on dates before all that and actually talk to you you know what i'm saying like on your goals your short-term goals all that some real type shit 
then yo, he's really not with it. And then you got the one female. Well, he did all that. Then we fuck. He switched up. Oh, he had a baby. He switched up. Understand this, ladies? Then they some weak ass niggas. And I don't use. I don't like to use the term niggas like that. But they some weak ass niggas because if they can go through all that process just to get into your draws, then one that nigga got too much time on his hands, ladies and gentlemen. And at the same time, he ain't got nothing to do with his life besides try to you know destroy other people. And you understand this? Yep. As men, we don't we 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 not are not always like the niggas that's just trying to get your draws. We're also the type of men that we're not ready. For, some of us are not ready for love. And, you know, for the females that do come into the picture that's trying to give us love, you know what I'm saying? We just got to be straight up front. Like, yo, we just we just not ready. You know what I'm saying? Even I had to lay it down for a couple of females that I wasn't ready to jump into a relationship. I just wasn't. Yeah, I just wanted to chill. Chill sometimes. Yeah, and maybe fuck. Let's <laughs> just be realistic. I'm not, you know, let's just be realistic. We men. We not going to sit here and shit and this bullshit. We just going to be realistic and be men. The thing is, and I'm going to let my man Nick say some few words on it too because I believe he got something to say. We don't choose to dog out women like women dog us out. We just retaliate. It turns into a petty, petty argument. And the next question that's going to turn into the next topic that's going to continue to add on to this why is it that men and women go back and forth in pettiness? Why, you know, why do we feel that we got to be petty to each other? One cheats, another got to cheat back. Or one be petty, another got to be petty. What, what, what is your main thought process on that? Yeah, I was going to say, I was checking this one out. That's pretty good. But uh, as far as the, I'll, I'll keep it quick and brief because I'm getting hungry. <laughs> hey, I feel you, I feel but, you. Uh, but, uh, it's it's just it's just a point point in the finger game as I like to call it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you did this to me, and you have similarities as another person, so I'm gonna do this to you, and blah blah blah. The the whole pettiness thing is just we we get upset because we get hurt, and that's right. all it is. It's just we got hurt, and we it it's familiar to us. And this type of person did this, and then that type of person did that, and. It's just a, like, oh, you're all the same. That's all it is. Right. And it's because as a culture, we have always been the type to blame one another for our issues, mm-hmm. especially a man versus a woman. That's just that's just the thing. We're like black men are like this. Black women are like this. It's just something that we grew up with from either if it was our parents' perspective or because of what the media portrays out there. Like a lot of music videos that you see, you see in the old, old school R&B music when they fight and guess what they're doing? They're pointing fingers at each other in the R&B music video. It's in every aspect to blame each other for the problems that we have or the past problems that we have with somebody else. Right. It's just a cultural thing that we've seen all our lives and that's all I look at it as at the end of the day. Sometimes you want, sometimes you just want the draws from the one person you want to give, the, you give you their all. What would you do? I mean, honestly, you must be realistic. As men, we would take it because we just want the draw. Right? I hate to say it, we do. There's some men out there that wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it turns into a mature mindset and mentality thing. You know what I'm saying? Even I had to learn that the hard way. Let's see here. Men and women back go back and forth with the pettiness. I think because nobody wants to lose, which is true. People like to hurt the person more than they feel they were hurt. But everyone measures measures pain different. Nobody wins. That's true. Every everybody wants everybody wants somebody to feel what the hell that they was going through. You know what I'm saying? And, yep. it, and, it, and it don't make sense at all. And it doesn't call for anything. It's the same thing too. So, you know, it today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, as we wrap up, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you follow both our pages. Share this video. Get the video out there. Go to Apple Podcasts, follow Crown the Fox Season 2, subscribe to it, put the reviews down on it. It's on Spotify as well. Help me get some reviews out there because when you go up there and review and you comment and get some stars and whatnot, you are in, you are put into the giveaway of Crown the Fox. Your boy the Fox is going to show some love and give a giveaway. I'm giving out two free items from the Fox clothing line and a chance to be on the show and you can pick the EP that we talk about, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? 
So my man Nick's do me a favor, share that, tell them to follow follow the rules to enter the contest. Oh, yeah. And I'm a, I'm gonna give out the um the instructions some more as well when I give out my special EP that I'm dropping towards the end of this month called I Gave Up. So be on the lookout, listen out, understand tomorrow we got an EP going on. Be on the lookout so we can get it thing. Can't wait for the next one. Y'all should bring the show to Twitch TV too. Hey, I'm gonna look into I'm gonna look into that and whatnot. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. I'm gonna look into that. And hey, we're gonna bring Henderson along too. I'm expanding the Fox production line. I'm be- I got my brother EJ the Henny on. I got my man Nasty Nicks right here. And we're gonna bring my man <laughs> Henderson on here too. Cause I like his his uh his perspective on life as well too. So yo, before oh, yeah. we before we get off the line, yo, hey Nix, tell them who your favorite man, your favorite black podcaster is, man. Let them know who it hey, is, man. baby. Y'all know what's up, man. The one and only, your boy the Fox, aka Kevin Hart Jr. <laughs> Show him some love. Y'all know what's up. I'm about to go eat. Hit me up, Kevin. We got a link, baby. Hey, we out, baby. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, hey, hey Ryan, I see you join the join the uh, live EP late. Talking about fuck the heat, hey, the heat out here putting the beat down on the Celtics. We gonna talk about that later on. My man Henderson, hey, we gonna get you on the show next time too, baby. So stay tuned, stay live. I'm gonna hit your DMs. Remember, like I said, I got a giveaway coming out pretty soon at the end of this month. So stay tuned. Go to Apple Podcasts and subscribe to my show. Leave a rating. Put some stars. It's also on Spotify, too. Yo, into the draft. Get yourself two free items from the Fox Clothing Line and a chance to be on the show with me. We trying to get this live and popping. We trying to get it big and horizon spreading out there. You already know who your favorite podcaster is, and you know who it is. Your boy, the Fox. <laughs> no, I ain't giving no sketches away. <laughs> I'm your boy, and I'm out. <laughs> Yeah, also remember, I'm sponsored by Banana Man Clothing Line. <laughs>